Hello, everybody. Um, today we are going to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Okay. To help us get started, um, I've got a, a problem here, and I've also drawn it out so we can kind of see what we're working with. I've got uh, four times two thirds, or in other words, I have two thirds. I've drawn two thirds, but I've drawn it four times. Okay. So let's do this. Let's count up our two thirds and see how many we have total because really multiplication, remember, is really just fast adding. Okay, so I've got two, four, six, eight. I've got eight thirds, right? Okay, let's look at this. I have four times two thirds equals eight thirds. Uh, what do we know about four and two and eight, right? We know that four times two makes eight. Right? So uh, we can rewrite this problem as 4 times 2, whole number, times the numerator, all over the denominator, which is 3. Okay? 4 times 2, all over 3. And yes, what do we get? 4 times 2 is 8 over 3. We know that is improper, so we can clean that up and as 2 and 2 thirds. Okay? Let's try one more. Here, I've got 3 fifths times 3, or in other words, um, 3 fifths drawn 3 times, right? So again, let's count up our 3 fifths. Um, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 fifths. Again, something starts to look familiar. What do we know about 3 and 3 and 9? We know that 3 times 3 equals 9. Okay, again, we've got the numerator times that whole number all over the denominator. 3 times 3 all over 5. And when we do that math, guess what? We get what we counted. 3 times 3 is 9 all over 5 improper, so we end up with 1 and 4 fifths, okay? Let's try this. Let's look at 1 and 4 fifths on our picture, see if we can get it. If I take these bottom um, blocks and move them up, so he's going to move up here, and he's going to move up here, and he's going to move up here. Now let's count. We've got one hole, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 fifths which is what we just got, 1 and 4 fifths. Oops. Okay. Let's now do some practice without the bar models, okay? Um, 1 fourth times 6. Remember, we can write that as 1 times 6 all over 4. We know that 1 times 6 is 6, so we end up with 6 fourths, which is improper. 1 and 2 fourths. Of course, please always simplify. Simplifies to 1 and a half. Good. Okay. Moving on. 4 fifths times 6. Okay, we can rewrite that as 4 times 6 all over 5. <clears throat> we know 4 times 6 is 24 over 5. Improper. 5 into 24 goes 4 times with four left over. So four fifths. Four and four fifths. And last but not least, eight times three fourths. Whole number times numerator all over denominator. Three times eight is twenty-four. All over four. Ooh, improper. And we know that cleans up to a nice whole number six. And we are done. Okay? Hope you learned something, and I hope you get some good practice, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.